All of us who follow the news in Israel will know that Israel is currently dealing with one of the highest profile cases, court cases ever leveled against a soldier in Israel. A short background. El Or Azaria, a young soldier, shot and killed a wounded terrorist in Hebron after he had attempted to kill Israeli soldiers. Everything else is controversial. Was he justified in opening fire? Was there still an imminent danger, as there has been in many cases of wounded sold, uh, terrorists detonating themselves? Um, was it perhaps that the, the terrorist would have died of his wounds anyway? All of these things have been heavily debated with controversial and, and conflicting testimonies. Perhaps the most controversial element of this case is how public uh, an event has become so quickly. Many high-profile members of the Israeli Defense Force and politicians made very sharp statements before all the facts perhaps were available and seems to perhaps some say have deterred the court cases of being able to make a clear objective legal decision without other considerations. What I want to say is however this case turns out there is a certain I believe silver lining and even Kiddush Hashem in what it means to have a Jewish state and a Jewish army. In last week's Pasha and this week's Pasha Kitate say we have the largest collection of the laws of war anywhere in all of the Torah. From the moment we go out to war and declare war, how we conduct ourselves during war and how we treat captives afterwards are all discussed in these parashiyot. And there is one verse, one pasuk, that the Ramban says, the great Nachmanides in this week's parasha, sums it all up and shows us the high level of moral responsibility the Torah demands from, Israel, from Jewish society and specifically our soldiers. Chapter 23, verse 10, this week's parasha, Ki teitzei machane vecha when the army goes out to war. We have to be careful of all moral impediments of doing any evil. And the Ramban says this is juxtaposed to other armies throughout history, which so often have, have, have behaved without a moral compass during war, without moral codes, and with achzariyut. But he says not the Jewish army. We are required in all situations, even ones where our lives are being threatened, and those are very difficult situations that nobody can judge, to act with higher morality. How blessed we are, say in conclusion, to have a Jewish state for the first time in almost 1900 years and being able to deal with these laws. And secondly, to be able to be a light unto the nations, to show the tremendous value of life that Israeli society has and its ongoing grappling with moral codes and halakhic values, even in the most trying of situations. Shabbat Shalom.